even though mortgage rates have gone up a bit, we, you know, again, we've got a plan in place. So we have just, we opened up another uh, phase of another development just recently. And yeah, the builders are still coming and want to build. What's been interesting is to see some of these communities that have gone in and that have done single family rental housing. It is, yeah. That's been an interesting. Yeah. Um, and there's a new development happening right now at the southeast corner of Dale and Woodbury mm-hmm. Drive. That will be our third single family rental property. Um, I find that fascinating whether people, I don't know if they don't want to get into a mortgage in a whole situation or they're here for a short period of time or maybe they're building a home somewhere and they want to live there until their home is built. But that's become popular. You know, again, as I said before, we do offer. A variety of housing for people those people that want to live in an apartment and we've got some nice new fun apartments to live in for young people or any people transitioning people to live in but in terms of like one of the things i watch are single family home pricing so it's just interesting mm-hmm. to see what's happening there we were at a peak a while ago it went down i think we're back at a peak again I'm, it's kind of interesting to see where these housing prices are going i think too when you think overall as the twin cities metro will continue to grow I think we are a desirable community, and at some point in time, we will be fully developed. And I think this is going to be a desirable community for a long period of time. So I think investing in real estate here is a valuable thing to do.